Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new, make sure that you subscribe that we will never miss out on another pick a card reading. I do one on my channel every single Friday. So today we're going to be getting into your money energy. So this is exciting. I'm going to have you pick a money symbol here. Okay, so we have four piles and we're going to get into what your money energy is like what you need to do, what may be the blocks, any spells you need to know of. We're going to get into all the details. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do is pick a pile number or a totem. So pile number one, Aventurine Crystals. Pile number two, $20 cash. Pile number three, a money candle. Or pile number four, bay leaves. Which one calls you in? Which one is drawing you in? Which one makes you feel a little something in your body? A little tingle, a little heartbeat, a little this, a little excitement. What is it? One of these piles will make you feel a certain way. And whichever pile that is, let's head right into that because it's gonna tell us all about your money energy. Hey guys, so for everybody that picked pile number one or the Aventurine Crystals, very interesting. I feel like a lot of you, okay, so adventuring crystals, the fact that you chose the crystals tells me that you are very connected with earth energy here when it comes to money. So a lot of you might enjoy physical pleasure, you know, the pleasures of what money can get you where you feed your five senses. You know, you can feel it, you can see it, you can touch it, you can taste it, and you can smell it, which means you indulge in food that you can taste. You indulge in your aesthetics and your environment that you can see that makes me that makes you feel good. <laughs> makes me feel good, of course. Um, you know, the, the things you smell around you, candles, scents, room sprays, um, whatever it is, perfume, oils, um, you really like to indulge in your five senses when it comes to money energy. So let's get into your reading. Um, the first thing that I want to get into is this Empress card right here. So what this teaches me is a lot of you take so much pride and you really nurture and take care of your belongings. Like the things that you spend a lot of money on, you really, really do take care of those things. Um, but I do feel like there is this calling for a different type of nurturing where, you know, <laughs> what I'm getting is like maybe so, so we have five senses, right? See, taste, smell, hear, and taste. Ta taste, smell, see, hear, and feel. <laughs> um, and for some of you, I feel like maybe you were giving a little bit more attention to a certain of these senses more than others. Maybe you were indulging your money in too much food taste or maybe you were indulging your money in too much of what you see content and i don't know video games movies stuff like that maybe you were indulging in too much of your senses in one particular area of you know the things that you feel maybe you were for me the only thing that i can imagine if I indulged in my feelings, or just to be lazy all day on the couch with a blanket on myself. So I don't know, like I just do feel like there's this energy of your money energy is being directed to only one area. And what's needed here is for you to spread your money out evenly and not overindulge in one aspect and you know, um, end up neglecting yourself in another aspect so we have these two cards right here lemon and yellow interesting because they're both the same color um we have access innovative thinking and to purify your body so when it comes to your money energy your body your emotions your thoughts your energy your vibration is a very huge, huge ingredient when it comes to manifesting money. And I want you guys to know that uh, you guys, when it comes to money, energy is very physical. So you like to taste it. You like when it, and when I say taste it, I mean you like to indulge in all the foods you like. 
okay? Or whatever foods you want, drinks you want, uh, smoothies you want, what, like you like to indulge in tasting good things and your money can do that for you, right? And for some of you, it could be you love scent. You love to cover your house in flowers and perfumes and uh, candles and good smelling room sprays and stuff like that. For some of you, it's aesthetic, what you see around your house or yourself. So you will surround yourself and you will spend the money to make your environment look pleasing to your eye, to your spirit, to your soul. And so I do feel like a lot of you, you just focused on one specific aspect of this um, and you neglected the other part. So maybe some of you spent so much money on your aesthetic that you kind of neglected your taste or how you feed yourself, if that makes sense. Or maybe some of you were so focused on you know, um, yeah, like that's the biggest thing I can think of because I think that's like a lot of things that a lot of you might resonate with is sometimes we, or, or maybe we indulge, overindulge ourselves in food and we give ourselves everything we want to eat whenever we want to eat, but we don't pay attention to our surroundings and what we see aesthetically. Maybe we have a pile of laundry sitting there, but we are just indulging our taste so I do feel like your money energy is going to need a little bit of balance where you spread it across all your five senses because you are such an um, energy where you like your prosperity and your money and your wealth energy when it comes to your physical, like everything you can touch, taste, smell, hear, and all of those things. So we have here taking shelter and we have here in the light of the moon. So... The answers are within you. Look at this, access innovative thinking and purify your body. So a lot of you, I feel like you're being called to use lemon, aventurine, and yellow candles in a spell for money. Um, you could use a green candle with some lemons in it just to refresh your money energy. Now, I don't recommend that you leave this spell alone. You have to keep an eye on it and you have to be careful because the ingredients, you know, things can catch on fire. But if you can keep a little bowl of aventurine crystals, you can get these on my shop. And then you can have a little bit of lemon juice squeezed in it or lemon zest. It will refresh your money energy. So you wanna put this little candle on top of your wallet, your purse, your credit card, your financial bank account numbers, your financial documents. It just refreshes and cleanses. And this is the stone that is known um, for good luck in gambling okay and then look at this card right here uncovering treasure literally the dragon is looking at a box of gold beneath the surface lies great bounty i feel like a lot of you are about to come into a great 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 amount of money but what's needed here is for you to not feed all of that money into just one of the aspects of your life Okay, taking shelter, the answers are within. A lot of you might be going, you know, to your family members, to your friends, to this person, to that person, to this article, this on Google, whatever, to get your information. But I do feel like I want to tell you guys that with this specific reading, there is a need and a calling for professional financial advice. So for me, when I got my accountant, when I got my um, tax person, it was the best thing I ever did for myself. It took so much off my shoulders. I had so many questions that this person answered like just with ease and I could understand everything. Um, it just, it was the best thing I ever did. Listen, if you own a business or if you are you know, coming across making a lot of money or if uh, taxes stress you out, hire somebody I feel like I want to tell you guys a lot of you guys need to hear that because I feel like it if you guys I just smacked the camera if you guys do your taxes yourself you might miss something you know um, the professionals know like the loopholes and this and that and how to cut like you know cut this over here and cut that over there so 
it's very good to have a professional on your side that can explain to you things that they've studied and that you have not studied maybe you know um so i do feel like this card right here in the light of the moon so a full moon can shine light on what you've been resisting and this can be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty so up until this full moon on march 31st we're having a full moon around march 31st a lot of your money energy is going to be so 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 intertwined with your physical five senses seeing tasting smelling hearing and feeling and i do feel like you know if a lot of you maybe uh, let me give an example so say you you have money but you spend your money and everything else except feeding yourself the great good food right you will only buy like the cheapest of the cheap food so your money energy is asking you to up that to match the rest of your five senses or the rest of the things that you spend your money on or maybe cut back somewhere else where you can indulge in a little bit more of your taste or maybe cut back on your taste so you can indulge a little bit more in what you hear music sound you know so take an inventory of your five senses and see where you need to add more of your money energy to and where you need to step a little bit back with your money energy. The last card that we have here is adrift in shallow water. Take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. I feel like a lot of you, it doesn't take a lot to make you happy. And that's how I, I really do feel like I connect with you a lot because for me, C, right? I love to have a really clean environment. Smell, I love to have a good incense going. Taste, I love coffee. Um, what is it? Um, feel, I love to feel fresh air with my windows open. And then what's the other one? I forgot the other one, but you get what I'm saying, right? try to balance and manage all of your five senses because it has a lot to do with your money and you need to see where your money is going in each of these five senses what are you feeding more what do you need to pull back from and you know what is it that you feel so balanced with so you work with aventurian crystals green candles yellow candles lemon and yellow candles did i say that already um I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye. Pile number two are everybody that picked the $20 cash. I have a lot of very important messages that I need to tell you about money. Oh, I don't even know where to start. I don't usually take upside down cards, but this card right here came upside down and I was like, you know what? And this one too. There's very, very important messages here for you. Okay. Let's start. The fact that you picked this pile, and we're going to start with this card right here. Surrounded by prosperity. Your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality. That which exists outside the known is beyond measure. So, I feel like a lot of you kind of fear what you don't know. And what that tells me is like business advent. Um, business investments maybe you know you want to buy a new house but you're intimidated you want to move but you're intimidated you're you may be afraid of the down payment or the paperwork involved or or legalities i don't know what it is but something is scaring you from moving forward in your life that has to do with investing a large sum of cash but I do feel like a lot of you have the means to move forward. <clears throat> but you're very scared. Excuse me. When I cough during a reading, I always associate it with I'm picking up one of your energy where there's a throat chakra block. So around here, I do feel like there's a blockage where... Let me get into the blockages because the blockages come into these two cards right here. So the five of pentacles is this energy that you have been in. Since we're doing a money reading, a lot of you have been in this energy where you feel left out when it comes to money, finances, wealth, abundance, prosperity. 
you've been left out either in the past and it has created trauma or you feel left out still today, maybe in your workplace. And it has caused you to go into this hermit mode where you kind of isolate yourself. You put yourself in this category of like a lack of money or you put yourself in this category where you are struggling with money. And I don't want you to be there. The cards don't want you to be there. Your spirits don't want you to be there. That's not where you're supposed to be. And I do feel like maybe, you know, sometimes life pushes us into a specific place, even in our money energy, just to teach us something, maybe a lesson we needed to learn, or maybe our own thoughts pushed us over there. Whatever it is, it's a collective reading, so it could be different things for different people. But somehow, some way, we ended up here where we have isolated ourselves, feeling neglected and abandoned and failures when it comes to money energy. And that's not right. Let me tell you why. First of all, because you're drawn to cash. There's, there's a magnetic, there's a magnetic correlation and a magnetic energy and energy exchange when it comes to you and cash it's a collective reading so i cannot like you know put in detail what it is to each one of you guys but each of you guys know how you work with cash how you deal with cash what your relationship is with cash and money and a lot of you have just kind of felt so left out and neglected and abandoned and just pushed out into a corner, left out in the cold, that you just closed yourself off to even your own money energy. But your money energy, excuse me, I'm like burping all over the place. Listen, this is a first reading. Where even in reading number one, and even in this one, I just keep burping. And I haven't eaten anything or like nothing like that. Like, I truly feel like there's some serious, serious throat chakra energy I'm picking up on some of you. I keep, there you go, see, burping. Um, a lot of you, there is things you need to speak, say, let it out about money. Whether you need to do this to a family member, a friend, a partner, a journal, a therapist, a spiritual counselor. You need to let something out about money. Is there a fear of money? Is there a lack of money you're feeling? If there's, if you feel like you're lacking in money, I want you to pull out a piece of paper or your journal and write it down. Because that's how you reflect and redirect your energy. If you guys ever feel... Like your bank account doesn't look like the way you want it or need it to look like. I want you to pull out a piece of paper, pull out um, pull out your money, a cash, okay? Whatever currency you are. Rub that all over your journal. I have my journal right here. I think I do. Yeah, I, I do. I actually did a Patreon video. We had a journal entry for this week. But when you... Listen, when you have, it's, it's completely filled. Um, but when you open up your journal, you're going to put all of the things you want. You're going to reflect and redirect your energy. Okay. Rub that, rub it, rub it, get it all up in your paper. Like I'm serious. And then you're going to write what your new intentions are for money. What your new intentions, like you are so... connected to money that you know even if you have a bad thought or a good thought the money will follow your thought I want to say that again you are so connected to money that even if your money thought is good or bad that thought will follow you if your money thoughts are good you will attract good money but if your money thoughts are bad and spiraling and negative and lacking, 
you will attract that. So what we're gonna do is take your cash, whatever currency it is in, and you're going to rub that all over your paper, your journal, whatever it is. Rub it. And then you write your intentions, your goals, your dreams, your manifestations. You write it. It's already been rubbed with the money energy, with the money frequency. So that's how you're going to be working with that. If you guys are interested in more you know, videos like that, head over to my Patreon. We do a lot of that more. But I do want to tell you guys about this Three of Pentacles. The number three is a number of creation. It takes two to create one. And so, or two or three, I mean, if you have twins and triplets, <laughs> right? You can create an abundance. Um, but here, we're specifically talking about how you can redirect and refocus your energy and reflect your energy into a way that's beneficial for you, for your prosperity, for your money, energy. You know, take your first step. A lot of you look at this. This man right here is leaving his comfort zone. Basically, that's all I can get from this image right here. Look at this. He's leaving his comfort zone. It tells a whole story about how he's leaving his family and everything, but he's happy and they're happy because sometimes you need to do something for yourself or you need to kind of let go of a previous life or a previous habit or a previous behavior, but it's for your prosperity, it's for your abundance, it's for your wealth. You know, for me, um, I used to have this family member that used to keep all of her money with herself. Like, she would carry it on herself, hide it in her mattress, hide it, like, everywhere in her bra and everything. Um, but I think she was so old that that's how she grew up, that's what, that's what she knew, that's how she felt safe. You know, so I do feel like, you know, in nowadays, you have to understand in now times how we can feel safer with our finances, where we need to invest, where we don't need to invest, where we need to spend, where we don't need to spend, where we should be taking risks, where we should be listening to other people, where we shouldn't be listening to other people, and stuff like that. And also where we are hiding ourself and our talents and our gifts whereas these same talents and gifts and you know ourself can be really making you an income your talents and your gifts okay and then we have this magenta card right here so connect to your deepest inner knowing you guys know what it is that you want and you guys know what it is that could possibly be making you so much more money than what you're making right now. A lot of you feel trapped and left out and left in the dark and neglected and rejected and not listened to in your workplace, in your finances. But those things can change and those things are going to change. A lot of you are so connected with money energy, but I do want to tell you guys, you have to Reflect and redirect your money energy. Stop feeling like you're trapped. Stop feeling like you're isolated. Grow it. You are already surrounded by prosperity. I want you guys to get out your pink candles and your yellow candles. Turtle uh, decorations. Turtles are very, very good for stability and for really honing in your finances because of that shell that's on their back. That's their home. You know, that's their structure, that's their foundation. That is their abundance, that is their wealth. Um, and look at this man right here, he has that right on his back, right? That's all he needs to go out on this venture to care for his family. There's so many messages here and I'm sure a lot of you are picking up on so many more things that I'm picking up on. The squirrel, the squirrel just explores. Okay, it goes here and there and search for food and it, it's a free spirit. Okay, you guys are free spirits, but I feel like your money energy has trapped you into something and you are finding your way back out of it. And we talked about how you can get yourself out of it in this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you very, very soon.
buy. Pile number three are everybody that picked the money candle. So I do want to let you guys know that you guys are interestingly drawn to this candle. So I do feel like you are so connected to fire energy. Okay. Your sacral chakra is active. A lot of you are very sexual beings. A lot of you uh, have this fire and passion and desire for so many things that money can do for you and money can get for you. There's nothing wrong with that. Money can get us very, very far and very, very ahead. And I feel like you are one of those beings and souls that really get to see that. And so let's get into your reading. We have the Emperor and we have the Knight of Swords. Interesting. <laughs> okay. So I feel like a lot of you might have been through something legal that really scared you off of money or like really took a lot of money away from you, whether this was in your past. So this is for some of you. This is a collective reading, so it's not for everybody. But I do feel like there was this financial situation, whether it was legal, with your work, with, you know, maybe you were working for somebody and they didn't pay you right. Something, something happened where there was an injustice in this, like, um, relationship between you and then a person of authority that pays you. Okay? And the Knight of Swords. I'm burping all over the place, all over this reading. You guys. <clears throat> I have never experienced this throughout a whole entire reading, but I do feel like I'm picking up a lot of uh, energy of throat chakra here. So if there's, you know, specifically in this reading too, if there's people who whose throat chakras have been blocked for so long where you guys are not speaking up in your workplace, you're not speaking up about your finances, about your money. If somebody is taking more money from you than you want or using you for money or asking you for more money and you're not able to say no, I don't know what the case is, but I'm picking up on a lot of you that are not able to say no when it comes to money. This Knight of Swords energy right here is telling me also that a lot of you are going to be speaking up when it comes to your work, okay? Um... Either you're asking for a raise, you get another job opportunity, but there's something new coming in, okay? This candle right here symbolizes alchemy. So it's something solid, this solid whole entire thing with all the energy of every herbs. And you guys know, I believe herbs and oils and, you know, coffee, all the totems and everything to be its own entity, its own spirit. So when I'm mixing all of these things together, it's I'm just it's it's a whole new type of conjure, right? So when I burn all of these things down, it transmutes from a solid wax herbally thing to liquid or nothing at all if everything burns down and then it transmutes itself to ash. That transmutation alone is magic. I mean, something solid just turned into ash or liquid. Sometimes I think we take that for granted. But if you look at it, really, it's such magic. Because something in a one form transmuted to something else. And I feel like that's what you guys are doing with your money energy. Look at this. Success expands in your life. A lot of you guys are walking out of this period of um, where your money energy was closed off or blocked or in the dark or stuck or stagnant. You guys are walking out of something like that. Now, the Knight of Swords is telling me that you're going to be doing this very, very quickly. Very, very fast. Uh, Knight of Swords comes in like really fast and this has a lot to do with authorities so, but what I do want to say you are the one that's going to have authority if you guys are going through a court case with money you're going to win if you guys have something around money like you're trying to get your money back or you're trying to get a raise or something like that you're going to win you're going to get it but <clears throat> I also do want to let you know to put in a little bit of work 
my throat chakra is acting up so so heavily right now that i do want to tell you guys that i want you guys to speak up <coughs> see excuse me if you guys want a raise i want you guys to go to your boss and ask for a raise not aggressively but in a way that you can present yourself with your statistics with your st statistics with the work that you're putting in why you should get the raise what your work brings to the company how much you're invested in the company like kiss ass if you need to like for money i feel like you know um you are entering a very new place where there's an abundance of it and you know how to get your way with it black find richness from the dark night I feel like a lot of you have experienced your dark night when it comes to money energy and you're able to transmute it and that's why you pick the candle. I feel that so strongly for you guys. If you wanted to, you could transmute this energy like this, not even with the with with a spell with just your mind. I feel like you guys have that power but you need to hone in on it. You need to cultivate it, nurture it, grow it. You have this power of money in your brain. That you can transmute a negative thought of money into hundreds and thousands of dollars. You can do it. You are that one pile in all my hundreds of readings. You can do it. Okay, passion and pleasure. You are meant to save her your life. Look at this image right here. You're meant for this. Okay, a lot of you I feel like you want the outdoorsy life. You want to spend outdoors, you know, you want to spend more time outdoors in nature, music, fire, trees, the sunset, the sunrise, RVs, camping, the lake, the ocean. You love these things. You're going to get all these things. I want you to keep doing your candle spells. And I want you to keep redirecting all of those negative thoughts of money that may intrude in your head. You're going to be getting rid of it really, really quick. I feel like you guys have gone through so much when it comes to money that now when it comes to switching your thoughts about money, you might not feel it now. But I want you guys to do one spell with a white candle, coffee, cinnamon, maybe something green, spearmint, basil, a green herb, or shredded money, and light it. Pay attention to your dreams after. Pay attention to your bank account after. You know, I feel like a lot of you are transmuting your money energy right now. Big time. Very, very heavy. And you're still learning. And you're still seeing. And still manifesting. And it's very, very pretty. And beautiful. And I feel like a lot of you... This may not be for everybody, but this gold card right here... I feel like a lot of you may have like an ancestral piece of gold that somebody from your, like your grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, whatever pass down to you if you do have a piece of gold that you inherited from somebody use that on your altar keep it on your um wallet your purses your money your important financial documents if you have a piece of gold keep that on your money your wallet your financial documents your bank statements um, and then we have this card right here, Persistent Drive. See what you desire and move toward that goal. A lot of you, I feel like your desires are changing because you changed. And that's okay. And your intuition and instincts, use them to guide you for the optimal outcome. And that's exactly what you're doing. You guys are transmuters of energy. You can turn something bad into something good. And you're learning that. You're experiencing that. And your thoughts about money are so powerful. Your thoughts about money are so powerful that if you actually put it into action and you lit a candle, imagine. 
imagine that momentum of your thoughts going into a candle that has this alchemical magic to it where something solid turns into something liquid but you also put your thoughts into it and herbs into it and oils into it I have these two coffee beans right here that um, if you are doing a candle spell I would recommend a green, orange, yellow or white candle tea light, birthday, whatever candle you can find cinnamon, nutmeg, fenugreek red, uh, not red green glitter and gold glitter and coffee beans if you have my money oil from my shop go ahead and light that in there oh my god this whole entire video i just keep burping you guys like i feel like i'm picking up on your energy like who is that out there that is not speaking up when it comes to money somebody's taking so much advantage advantage of your money and you're not speaking up you're not talking this is the ending of this reading but i really want to get this message out for whoever is out there dude it's your money fight for it speak up for it you guys like i i i don't know who i am picking this up from but you need to fight for your money and I feel like there's somebody in this reading that really needs to hear it from the richness. Find richness from the dark night. You need to fight for your money. If you fight, it will happen quick and you will get success. I promise you. Right here. Somebody here needs to really, really fight for their money. That kind of pissed me off in the way that it came to me. Like... Somebody here is not, they, they they work so hard for their money and somebody's taking advantage of it and you're not fighting for it. So I don't know who that is, but it's a collective reading. So that's just for maybe like one or two or a few of you. But I did want to get that out. Thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye. Pile number four, everybody that picked the bay leaves. Wow. Lots of very, very important messages that are coming through for your reading here. Okay, we're going to start with the the King of Cups. Right uh, next to it, we have the Three of Wands. So I don't usually take upside down cards, but this time I felt like I wanted to take it however they came. And I do feel like a lot of your passions and your inspirations were being pointed at a direction when it comes to money where I don't know you felt like you were draining your money overspending it pointing all your money in places where I don't know maybe a lot of you are spending it on drinks um nights out Maybe shopping, overly shopping. I don't know. Maybe like using shopping and money as um, just overindulging in it. Maybe overspending for some of you. But with this King of Cups here, this is a different kind of King of Cups energy. So usually in King of Cups, it's like somebody that's not so in tune with their emotions somebody that's kind of uncomfortable with their emotions but in this case i really do see this three of wands here which is you're pointing all of your inspiration and, and your motivation your energy and your attention into one direction and it's pointing right here they're shooting right here you're breaking trail a breakthrough is at hand so when it comes to your finances your money i do feel like there's one 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 little missing ingredient, my loves. It's your mind. Okay? I'm going to explain a little bit more and I hope you stick around. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like you are going through a financial struggle, a financial something. Okay? But I do want to tell you also, I want you guys to get your bay leaves out. I have bay leaves right here. You can get them from my shop. You can get them from a grocery store. You can get them from the Dollar Tree. You can get them anywhere. 
and I want you to practice resilience with bay leaves because I feel like when it comes to money money energy I feel like a lot of you have to to um, build resilience where you can focus your money energy into one direction and that is the direction that you want it to go in whereas sometimes your money energy goes into the direction of I don't have this much I lack this much I don't you know it, the lack of it and mentally our mentality our thoughts are like every sentence every word that we say into our mind when we talk about a specific thing love money food travel whatever it is we want you know the words that we associate with it the words that we intertwine into the sentences that we use when we try to manifest or pray or ask for help in these certain in aspects of our life is very very important so i do feel like a lot of you are re-changing redirecting the words that you're using you're empowering yourself into a way where you're resilient and you know like if i want to manifest a hundred dollars by next week i'm going to manifest a hundred dollars by next week i truly feel like if you guys want to get into energy watch watch all of the readings so watch all of the piles but for you guys specifically you know um i also feel like there is this need for decluttering you know simplify your life right here so you might have too much you know um i've been thinking about this lately too where i have gotten rid of so much in my life i'm i'm so simplistic my house is so simple but i feel like i could simplify it more and the more that you simplify your life you know more things um i don't know for me at least it stresses me out like if i have more things like on my shelf than usual i'll be like you know what that look hella cluttered i don't like it and so listen everything relates to money so if i'm over there on my shelf thinking oh man like that looks so cluttered subconsciously in my brain i'm thinking like that's too much so what am i saying to myself in the universe my abundance is too much and it's stressing me out so what's the universe gonna do it's gonna lighten your abundance to lighten your load because we tell the universe what we need and it will respond back to us exactly what we need that's why we don't want clutter because we don't want to tell the universe it's too much and i feel like a lot of you are just kind of in that phase where your uh, environment might just be like it's too much but you don't want to tell the universe that so get rid of what is too much so you can tell the universe too much of this is fine <laughs> you know what i'm saying and right now for you guys too much of money is fine i want you guys to work with emerald crystals i want you guys to calm your mind body and soul take baths take walks take vacations okay take time off take me time tea time coffee time drink time wine time happy hour time i don't know what is it for you to tap into your heart chakra so i mean for some people it could be painting dancing walking running playing with your cats um i don't know reading your cards journaling it's different for every single person so what is it for you that calms your mind body and soul for me what calms all three i always like to give an example so for me what calms all three right now in my life like the phase and the place that and the space that i'm in in my life right now it's cleaning gardening cooking and sex 
because it's been a really really long time since I could um, embrace my sexuality so I'm finally starting to after all trauma and working through the trauma if you guys want to hear more of that it's on OnlyFans and Patreon too I'm, I get more personal but those are mine and I wanted to show you guys examples because it can be something as big as that or it could be something as simple as like calming your mind body and soul with the, with the aesthetic of what your home looks like maybe you just need to change certain things up maybe you need to just get a new couch cover and just put it on maybe your couch has been like gray all your life and you just want a yellow couch cover listen Every tiniest little detail makes a difference. And I, I feel like sometimes, um, you know, you're made to think that tiny things are superficial. But I'm here to tell you, like, the tiniest thing, like adding a yellow comforter to your bed or your couch or anything, uh, or not even yellow, any color that's different from your usual color scheme. It changes the environment, changes the energy what we need here right now is a change of energy when it comes to your money protect yourself burning bay leaves is a form of protection a lot of i think i read somewhere that like uh the wives of soldiers that would go to war they would um i don't know if they would wear the bay leaves or they would like um make a belt out of bay leaves for the soldiers so that they're protected in war and they have luck and victory in war but bay leaves have so much significance from like thousands of years ago so i feel like right now in your case you guys are being asked to empower yourself to be resilient to know where your money energy is going know where you need it to go okay no you know, you need to relax your mind, body, and soul so that these money energies and these ideas and these, like, these roadblocks can go away. Um, you need to protect your money energy. And the best way that I can teach you to do it right now with the you're reading right now is bay leaves. I don't care if your bay leaves are cracked. Burn it. Rub the ash on your money on your wallet. I have a bay leaf ash video coming very, very soon. I'm very excited for you guys, but... For you guys, I feel like your money energy is so intertwined with really letting go of bad thoughts about money, calming yourself down, protecting your money energy, empowering yourself, you know, and, and um, where your money energy is going, where, you know, where you need to simplify what you need to get rid of and what kinds of thoughts about money you are uncomfortable with that you need to get yourself comfortable with here's a quick 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 example say i wanted to become a millionaire are you comfortable with what the life of a millionaire entails taxes your wardrobe will change your house will change your environment will change your body will change your posture will change the way you talk will change People around you will change. Your relationships will change. You ready for that? So we have to ask ourselves, when we are manifesting something big, are we ready for the lifestyle changes that come with it? And if you are, I want you to write it all down on a bay leaf in present tense and burn it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.